Hello Cancer, this is your horoscope for the month of October in regards to the eclipse that is happening October 14th in the sign of Aries. This is for sun, moon, or rising, depending, doesn't matter which system you follow, um, if you identify with the energy of Cancer or if you have a lot of Cancer in your chart, then there might be a message here for you. So let's have a look here, Cancer. For October, I knew this card was going to come out. True love, new love, reconciliation, and union. Okay, what's going on, Cancer? Uh, we have here overthinking. We're overthinking something, or there might be something in your love life that I feel like it's uh, clouding your vision. Maybe you're wanting to control your love life. Maybe uh, there is... I feel there's a lot of things coming to your awareness in regards to your love life at this time or with this eclipse, okay, Cancer? For some of you, there could be reconciliation, could be a union happening here. Again, this energy of um, overthinking. You're overthinking something or something is... I don't know why I'm getting like... Let's see, Cancer... Archangel Gabriel. So there are good news. I feel for many of you, you're thinking heavily about a connection here, whether to continue it or maybe not. But there is good news coming in here for you guys. I feel like there's a lot more peace, a lot more balance. I feel here as well, there is a need for communication. There is a need for healthier boundaries. If we want this connection to work, is something that I am picking up here. Or something needs to be communicated with the Archangel Gabriel here. It's like a lot of... You're learning a lot about communication. The Hierophant. For some of you, you're thinking about marriage. Or something high-level commitment here. For some of you, if you've been waiting on news about a school or about a job, about a loan or something like this, you're hearing good news about it or something about the legal system, it's here as well. We have the Hermit, Nine of... I was going to say Nine of Wands, but it's not. It's the Hermit card. At the bottom, we do have the Star. I feel here there's a lot of healing that is going on, Cancer. In the month of October. And it has to do with everything with your love life here. For those who are married, it's about your marriage. This is something that you're having to go within. Like, I feel what I'm getting here. This is not something you can find the answer to externally. This has to be internal. This has to be something that you go within and you ask yourself these questions, okay? For some of you, there's good news about a skill here. Because you have two major arcana. This is a big eclipse. The Hierophant. Because the Hierophant is about a guru, right? A teacher. About going to someone for higher wisdom. And then the uh, the Hermit, it's all about going within. And finding those answers within yourself. Let's see. There's too many cards here. I'm going to take one. Cancer. For the eclipse. We have the observer. We've been getting this energy a lot. I've been channeling it on Patreon. I've been channeling it on um, on Instagram as well. I feel like you're being asked to observe. And that's what the hermit does, right? He goes within. And goes on this soul journey. And observes things and looks at things i feel for many of you you're gonna be in this period of void and in order for movement to happen you have to be in this void which is the hermit speak your truth what did i just say you're learning a lot of lessons around the throat chakra connect with nature at this time ask your body i'm hearing ask your body for the answer the 
Cancer for the month of October for the eclipse. What makes you happy? What doesn't make you happy? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with maybe a connection here. I feel like there's news about money here, about your job as well. Developments in your job. Yeah, boundaries. There needs to be boundaries here. I don't know if you're comfortable with speaking boundaries, but you're going to need them. Your guides are saying you're going to need them. Or do you have a lot of boundaries around your heart space? Like, um, you know, like these walls. Because I feel like there's a new beginning here that this eclipse is bringing in. But I feel that it's in some way you're pushing it away. I don't, I don't know why, but that's what it's coming. That's how it's coming across. Cancer. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's like you keep yourself away, right? Kind of. And I know Cancer does this because they like to be in their shell. But I feel like this eclipse is going to push you a little bit out of your shell. Archangel Gabriel again. Work with Archangel Gabriel. It says, you have an important life pur purpose involving communication and the arts. Please do not allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Again, for some of you, there's a lot of insecurities you're working through, maybe through a love connection, uh, maybe when it comes to a job or something that you're going to do. Many of you are going into teaching. Let's see, what else do we have here? I feel like there's a lot more peace coming into your life if you allow it. Because right now, it feels like there's a lot of confusion. This eclipse is going to bring in a lot of clarity for you, Cancer. A lot of clarity about what it is that you're supposed to be doing. What is it that you're supposed to be pursuing? Yeah, there's like a new experience here. And, I, and that might be a little bit what's scaring you a bit. And you might be pushing, pushing it away. Again, through study, just observe. I'm hearing your guide say, observe, observe what's going on around you, your thoughts as well. Because I feel like this is the time for you to take information or inventory about what it is that you want, I feel. Are you where you want to be? I feel like you're going to be asking yourself these deep questions. Cancer. October. Spiritual narcolep narcolepsy. Yeah. It's like you've been asleep to something and your guides are wanting to wake you up. This eclipse is going to wake you up. I'm getting that song from System of a Down. Oh, what's the name of that song? Wake Up. Um... Oh, that's a dark song, though. <laughs> I don't know the name of it, but it's from System of a Down. And then we have confidence in your magic. There is a big, for some of you, you don't know what to do about a contract, whether this is a contract with a person or a contract with a job. I feel like You need to have confidence in what you're picking up and in your truth. Yeah, there's clarity coming in. So if you've been in this confusion for far too like if you've been in this confusion for a while, I feel like you're going to know exactly what it is that you need to be doing soon. Let's see. Cancer. So you feel like things have been like not moving, they've been a little stagnant. No, this eclipse is going to move things around for you. And I feel like you're going to be the one to initiate or start these heavy conversations. Because with the Hierophant and the Hermit and the two Archangel cards, Gabriel, and the Speak Your Truth, I feel like you will be the one having these conversations with yourself first and then with others. 
Yeah, because there's been a lot of mystery. There's been a lot of mystery. And I feel like your guides are saying whatever happens during this eclipse, it was meant to be that way. It was meant to be that way. And you have the strength. You have the strength for this transformation to go through this transformation. It's going to be so synchronistic. I feel like you're going to be changing your tune, especially if you've been if that tune has been a tune that you've played in the past and it has been affecting your present and your future. I see you finally releasing that, finally like letting that go. It could bring a little bit of shadow work here for you, Cancer. I do feel truth. Yeah, there's look, I just cut the deck truth watch the signs i feel like for many of you you're gonna be okay um you're gonna be cutting your losses i don't know what this is about forgive yourself and forgive the other people okay i see you guys stepping into your higher power i do And that can just be you walking away, finally making amends with your past. And then we have rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life again after a period of being a hermit. After a period of being in this energy where you have been just within yourself in this like slumber in this uh hibernation period and i feel like you haven't been aware of what exactly has been happening or what is about to happen but that mystery is about to clear up for you i'm hearing hold the course okay hold the course do not be too impulsive here be the observer be the observer right it's kind of like like i was saying you're for, you've been from the inside kind of looking out and you're like okay wait wait like what's going on but i feel like now things with this eclipse are beginning now things are shifting for you now clarity is falling into place things are moving forward for you because many of you have been crossing bridges you've been healing you've been releasing you've been in this fogged in energy okay i'm gonna pull some cards here these are the tea leaf cards just extra messages that might want to come through some of you might resonate with uh dragons so maybe you are the year of the dragon that is something that is coming up here whoa new home new attitude for some of you yeah you're letting things go from the past or things that were stagnant you know for some of you, you're getting a new home you should accept valid criticism okay so maybe there's a lover coming in telling you like hey i don't like this this is this is something that i do not appreciate and you know if they're coming to you like that hold space for yourself and for them to communicate this and you know to come to some type of agreement if you can i feel like there's going to be a lot of truth being spoken here a wish is being granted and then we have a dog barking so these can be your guides but i do feel like there will be a friend who will be giving you wise advice and then we have here the tower card but this is a positive tower in this deck because it says you're laying a solid foundation for success okay i feel for many of you you are stepping into a new experience control your anger cancer control your anger control your anger because if not when we start communicating through anger we then we say things that we can't take back we have libra here so again balance i feel like balance is not good balance is not good wow okay so yeah maybe balance is not good in your life right now maybe something needs to be balanced out make sure you're taking care of your money okay um yeah there's a lot of fears and worries here tense situations i feel like this is what is being cleared up for you here cancer we have family sorrow so there might be something in your family that's going on here trust your intuitive hits trust your intuitive messages some of you like i don't know if i already said this 
Maybe you've been repeating yourself because I feel like I'm repeating myself. Maybe you have Libra in your chart as well. We have here changes in your life. So there are changes coming in. I feel for some of you, you need to speak up. Might not be the easiest to do, but your guides are saying you need to speak up. And then we have psychic ability. Trust your intuition. And then at the bottom of the deck, successfully overcoming a problem. So again, I do feel here that you're going to be able to work through anything, cross the bridge, right? Let water be water under the bridge here. I do see a lot of money here. I do see a lot of financial growth and opportunity. But that is what I have for you guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye.